Amongst the charted courses of our lives, great men have walked amongst us, planting gracefully their sparkling visions, their enchanted dreams that light our paths and touch our lives with national and artistic pride. But very few have come close to the astounding works and immortality of Adeyemi Josiah Ako Afolayan. Adi Love, who like the white tiger, the rarest of animals, comes along only once in an entire generation. From the agrarian plains of Agbamu in Kwara State, Adeyemi Josiah Akao Afolayon was born on the 14th of May 1940 to the family of Chief Noah Afolayon Olukmano, who was a peasant farmer, and to Deborah Efuntojola Olaoshebikon, a cloth weaver. Right from his early years, Adeyemi Afolanyo was attracted to and preferred the cultural attendance of Egungo festivals, watching the colorful exercises of masquerades like the Egwelewe, Baka, Ekba, and Onto Arodo, where with other youths he would follow the masquerades for nine days without returning home, eschewing his father's farm where he was often asked to take on agrarian chores. One would characterize this as the earliest markings of his passion and path in the performance and cultural arts later in life. Deyemi attended the Alakbaoro, which is today known as the St. Paul Anglican Primary School, completing his primary education in 1955. Adeyemi Afolanyo moved to Lagos with his uncle, who enrolled him at a school of commerce in Yaba, where he learned how to type, later graduating from the school to become his uncle's secretary at the shop. Shortly after Adeyemi arrived in Lagos, he developed an interest in watching films and started visiting cinema houses. This newfound love of his with his bicycle made him a film enthusiast, visiting cinema houses on a daily basis after shop hours. Adeyemi watched various kinds of films across genre, but he had an especial preference for the Western John Wayne films, Indian films with a special liking for Satyajit Ray's works and Roman epics. Oh, 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 According to his aunt, Adeyemi got his Monica Adelove from the ladies because he was always singing love songs, which he often accompanied with whistling whenever he was returning from the cinema house. Fueled by his passion for film and the performances he enjoyed in them, Adilov left his uncle's house and moved to number 6 John Street, Okeari, Lagos Island in 1965. He met Moses Olaya, who is today known as Babasala, who at the time was an established juju musician in 1966. He joined Moses Olaya's concert party the same year, playing with other band members like Kola Yara, Sunday Adeniyi, also known as King Sonny Adi, and many others. What I said, I don't know if I know that. I'm going to 1972. I'm going to go to 1972. I'm going to go to 1972. I saw you know, so him many roles, you know, especially when he was performing with Moses Solaya, Alawa Davasala, he was playing Amunda, the original Am Amunda, and it's, not, it's never complete, you know, without his uh, contribution. Ibati won't tell me Baba Sala, won't tell me when I say he can he lose so good. He may not see Jay, manager Baba when he had a job, never ti o sere kan ba ti wa wa si osogo awa o sere ta wa ni lu ama lati fe lo ba won lati ran won lowo nti an ba fe nti won ba se a si ju titi ti won fi pari ere won lale igbayen lati pade afolayan adelo igbayen lati pade o si je o ma lu abi eyan igba ti mo pade e Take one year, 
a ma n pade ta ba se pade akira wa gege bi bi ore so re ba ro ja ba ore se nse se awon yan wa o se nwo ran dada o o se dada nna ba to wa lodo ma o da na ka to fa a ti ma se ri da na o je ana kanti kone gberaga kata so pe on lo se gba keji mi after serving under moses olaya for 6 years he initially formed his own traveling theater group called adelove theater which was successful in its mobile form of entertainment in and around towns and educational institutions within its environs light iri won ni gba yen o je ni ti mo ni fe sige mo se n gboro yin won ati gbogbo ti won se lere lori stage pelu baba sala ma ran se amoda sumon mo wa meet won lodun na lo mi won ti odun yin mo mo wa curious lati se ari won tori mi nsise i mean mo nsise ni works mo de nsere pelu baba meru ni gba yin igba yin la won kuro lodo baba sala no da ti won sile ton pe ni ade love theater he contributed in no small measure to film industry in nigeria in fact i make bold to say that it is one of the reasons why we have a film industry in nigeria today tele tele stage la ma lo fun ta ma keru lo to ta ma keru lo si stage play sugbon ade lo fun je ni akoko to introduce yi wa si an so film iru ni ks bayi iru film e to ba to ba koko se a lo se nbe ko so se enter ka gagaga agaga bo ba se se ni ks be o ma ma se ni ko so se enter le ro ma ma se witi to ro de ma ma so oluka ma so opinion okan e pe ah omo kunrin daju daju olorun a de lo fun ni se ni a de lo fun le ni akoko to se ru e to ye pe gbugbu wa wa nto leyin titi dori baba wa baba wa ko lo forun ke baba wa ogunde it was when he first started making his films that he got very close to uh, our father and um he played a great role in turning our father from his theater into film making i would say categorically that adi love was the most influential uh aspect of the old man shifting from the theater into the films adi yemi afolayan lu laju yoruba theater si cinema en to the laju yoruba theater yoruba cinema sadi yemi afolayan ni ola balogun nigba aja ni ogun a love film with uh, ola balogun you know where he was imitating the indian film oh no no for me oh no because he was a good singer and flutist he plays his flute so he was he charmed the girl in that film a man would be angel me handsome man to montunshi to the law ahead of his contemporary After starring in Dr. Olabalogun Celluloid film Ajaniogun, Adelove was exposed to the phenomenal potential of his first love, film. He transitioned from theater to film, working alongside the guidance of Dr. Olabalogun, a Paris trained filmmaker, and Duro Ladipo, a veteran theater and musical giant in the creation of his production debut, Ijao Minira. <laughs> Not a miyo lu moko mo fun yin ni 
ni won ti se eke ni yen to je pe mo wa ni hospital ngba yen ti mo fe bi mo e o sa o sa o sa do ko ibe yen lo ti ma n wa lati wa wo mi ni ja o mi ni la ri o feran ise baba mo mi pe opolo to lo papa ni 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 music being a voracious reader and having had a collection of experiences in music, theatre and film, a DME Afolanyo's distinction in his directorial style was unique. He was quite a fantastic director because he combined the entrepreneur and I see that in his son, Afolanyo, and he's doing the same thing. You find that he's one of the directors today who can tell you how much his, his film is going to gross, you know? He's actually more of a, I don't know, you find a mixture of the producer and the director in one harmonious whole. Adi Love was fantastic in that. He knows what he wants. You can't give him what he doesn't want. I'm going to buy the picture by any bet man He was a very determined filmmaker, very hardworking filmmaker. Adi Love wants to do his best in anything he does particularly in the area of films. He acted and he, direct, he directed films. He's a complete director. Uh, it's unfortunate that it's time my time. We are so deep in our story that we find it very hard, and because of the budget too, to risk our leads to somebody else. Uh, you know, so, and you know he was a big star on the stage, but the only difference is that they have to work with a technical director. Like Ade Love, he has to work with someone like a Ola Balogu. But his right hand man was uh, Tunde Kelani, who is a professionally trained cameraman. You know. He writes the scripts himself, he types it himself, he produces it, he finds the money to do it, and he markets it. Sometimes he does the music himself. You know, so he's, in a way, he's the, if you look at the system of author, you can say that he's a, a, a total filmmaker in that sense. To ba ti fe se are kon, a ma un jon jiro ro lo rie, o ma un wa un se iwadi, yon pa, yon katu jema a sa yoruba, o ma, ba ak pa, ou koto fe Ade love eh okan bogi ni ninu awon film directors ti o bere ise directing film ni Nigeria yi o si se ise na ati gbogbo films to direct boya lari eni to ta ba yowo baba ogunde boya lari eni ti oja e ma nta to ti e ngba ti awon eyan ba nguri ara won lati wole wo iran uh, our films to she. As it often is universally, Afolayon and his contemporaries faced many challenges in their time, from the chain of cinemas that were controlled by foreigners, which made it difficult to recoup investment, to the changing value within the country's currency, to loans taken to make films that became very difficult to pay back. These heroes of ours forged ahead regardless. I know I uh, are there now, so we have to go through hell. Look for collateral to, to borrow money. Then the poor boy cannot sleep because you are, you are counting. There you make uh, 100 naira in the cinema house. The cinema house will not take 70. If we come together, we tell the cinema house, go to hell with your cinema. That is what Ade Love and myself did with Papa Gunde. We said the Lebanese should go to hell. We start going to National Theater. Not too different. You have to hunt for the money to make the film. But the technology of making films was not this commonplace. You know, both the means of production, the equipment, and the film stock has to be ordered from abroad. And after the film is made, everything has to be shipped back, you know, to England or America. And so it depended a lot on foreign exchange. And that's why you find when we make film, we have to hawk our film. Like people say, Nakara, language, you know, Ewara Kara, you know, so you see, you have to do a parade. Because most, most of us, even up till now, don't have halls. So we hire university halls, stadiums, and all those. Until I did love myself, Allah Balogu, we put up a, a fight that the government must save us. 
like what I'm expecting government today to salvage the industry, that they must save us this our country. Luckily for us, the Obasanjo uh, government listened to us and they passed a decree banning all these foreigners from having anything to do with fame. Things were not uh, easy. They're having problems getting foreign exchange to process their films. We didn't have the facilities. We were tr struggling to see how we can set up the color laboratory and the dubbing studio. We didn't have them. But I can see the sufferings they were going through, more or less hawking their films, going to show these uh, things from one town and the other. And of course, the difficulty that I noticed was the tax, entertainment tax. Half of the money they got went to entertain, the entertainment tax, and it varies from one state to the other. Thank God for places like uh, National Theatre, because the National Theatre really, really helped, you know, the filmmakers. They can have like five, six, you know, Nigerian films showing at the same time at National Theatre because they have the capacity, they have several halls there. I stumbled on some of his documents where he actually applied to the government of Kwara State, you know, proposing to build some cinemas, you know, in Kwara. And uh, he identified the spot, exact spot, where he won the cinemas built. Uh, there was a plan, you know, already. I'm not sure why that didn't fly eventually, but all of these things are there. <laughs> I felt I sure Neil Lorne. I felt sure yeah, Neil Lorne. Niger hotel at man show open space ni one cover be. Ojo den ro. Ojo wa fe ro gong ba yin. So Baba kan o de man wa Baba yin bubu anon la man tong ba yin Baba yin fun alo gong ojo. Ba ti wa fun alo gong ojo ni jalo don gong ojo yi wo. Awa jo bota ni wajo ho. Everybody shaking it on the cash. A lack of sunny bow, but I just saw my honey be low, only a rock bow, a rock bow. There is the only car, but you're well over ye, or you have best lenny. You're yet after I show kidding. After making a succession of blockbuster films like Ijao Minera, Kadara, Taxi Driver, Ijao Rogun. Iyanewura during the late 1970s to the early 1990s, Adeyemi Afolayo, through his efforts at using film to promote national development and curb cultural imperialism, became a national figure of note. Amongst numerous awards like the Grand Commander of Nigerian Artists, the NTA Award of Excellence, and the prestigious Orlando Martin Award, he was invited to sit on the first panels against piracy with other eminent Nigerians like renowned novelist Chuko Emeka Ike, musician Onyeka Onwenu, Bruce Onobuk Prayer, among others. He was also part of the planning committee of the first Nigerian film festival as well as the Nigerian Film Corporation's efforts towards the development of a film archives policy where films made by Nigerian filmmakers will be preserved for posterity. Because I was consulting for the film corporation, I met him again. I met him often on purely official things. Either he was with the managing director, Brendan Shehu, or I accompanied Brendan Shehu to somewhere, and Ade Love was there, and we met, or it was one of those things. But I remember that a time I had one-on-one -on, -one on him again was during the first National Film Festival. He participated in several uh, committees set up by the federal government of Nigeria, that has to do with the development of film, or especially the, 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 the on uh, um, piracy. There was an anti-piracy committee set up by government. Adelov was there, and he contributed his quota. Aside his contribution to the activities of the Nigerian Film Corporation, we still have a lot of Nigerian films, you know, out there in, um, you know, different labs in America and even in UK. And um, nobody is re retrieving them because we can't afford them anymore. Uh, we are lucky because uh, somehow I stumbled on one of my father's documents that was a, a, a document that was written to him from Box Laboratory in Slough in London. And this was uh, 2002. Then I reach out to the company and, you know, send them an email. And somehow they responded. And after they responded, I started negotiating with them on how to get these things, you know, out. You know, and 2002 was like 14 years ago. But uh, two, three years ago, I had the opportunity of traveling with the former 
uh, governor of Lagos State, you know, about the right fashion and um, you know, he re he asked you know about what I'm doing and you know what what is next for me and I pitch it to him that look I'm really interested in restoring our father's films and um, he asked for details I told him and uh, we got back to Nigeria and Lagos State approved you know that uh, those films be restored. Adeyemi Afolayo will be remembered importantly for exporting the wealth of the Nigerian culture, languages and talent which were relatively unknown within the visual arts community abroad and being a good ambassador for Nigeria, showcasing his films widely as he was through his illustrious career invited to an impressive list of foremost film festivals around the world today. The first time we traveled I think was um in 1986, as a film festival in Russia, Tashkent was under Russia, the annual uh, festival every year. And that year I was invited, and I decided I should go with a film, private filmmaker. So I chose um, ID Love. And we went together, and um, he gave me every respect. The way I'm supposed to talk, he allowed me to talk. and. Um, Fortunately for me, he, he went with his film, one of his films, and uh, during the break, it was a hard time to shoot some of his films. I think it was possible for Adi Love and the early filmmakers to travel out to film festival because I think there's a lot of uh, cultural exchanges, you know, be, between various countries. And I think there was a genuine interest, you know, in um, African film at that time. I think that encouraged them, it's really influenced him to want to make, you know, better films every time. There's a progression, you know, in his, in his work. Adilov will also never be forgotten amongst us for his inexplicable grace, his dashing looks, his candid nature in speech, as well as his excellent leadership. Adilov was fearless. Humble and tenacious, little wonder his efforts, life and works continue to inspire many within and beyond the shores of Nigeria. One thing about him is he was a natty dresser, that's the way we would call that. He dressed very well. At that time, who oh, encouraged me go. I I just she shared the story first movie me new and that was nineteen eighty-five. I should tell you, I don't know the look directly. Without even taking Kobo at that time. On one location throughout location, lost second, lost images. We were there for six weeks. He left the most remarkable legacy on the Nigerian film-making landscape. And as a continuation of his mark, some of his children, including Kunle Afolanyo, a pace-setting actor and filmmaker who unarguably staged a renaissance of cinema with his film Figurine in 2009, method actor and musician Gabriel Afolanyo, Aremo Afolanyo, Ibukun Afolanyo, who recently released his debut album, Tinuke Afolanyo, who won the 2012 Star Quest Performing Arts Competition, and Muji Afolanyo Olaiwala all continue to thrive in their respective fields of music and film. He is survived by his wives and beautiful children. <laughs> Told me you're not gonna know film industry, but Baba me ni only ogami, only Baba me only everything me, only Romo demi, only anything mo do mo wa wakoshi, only only okwa mi biatin she she. Um, I just know one of the earliest uh, film in uh, in Nigeria then, when it was to be premiered. Um, one thing that I can never forget was how my father actually put me on his neck, because. Um, even though I was um, about uh, seven years of age, he was still able to carry me on his uh, shoulder to the theater. Uh, I think uh, it was in Sheila uh, Cinema at that time. Uh, you know, uh, for me, I, I, I think their generation, you know, they, they are more proper, you know, you know, somehow than our generation. 
You know, because when I look through most of his files, I realize that, look, the kind of documentation that they do, you know, even amongst themselves, a lot of people see them as illiterate. But you call these guys illiterate, and they did this much documentation when I saw, you know, the, his files and how thorough he was in documenting and having received and, you know, even in dealing with his actors, you know, where they will do proper, um, they, they would, uh, they will access and do a report after every project and the report will state okay who misbehave on set you know uh, how smooth the shoot was you know who was the bad egg and what was the action or disciplinary action that was taken all of this i saw in the record baba ofe ki ako wa se ri be nkan ton ma tenu mo ni we pe awon fe ka awon ma won kawe pe to ba kawe e ton to ba that um the floor is open i will continue opportunity at the dross what you want to know clear it jeka ma shere iruba won mu ka re se bere re lati kekere awon mo fi gbogbo won nkan ton so fun wa ni pe pe e lo kawe yin te ba kawe ton te ba fe shere aye wa to de po yeah obviously they were my very first set of exposure into entertainment i mean he's movies and his music materials because he dropped a couple of albums back then though basically they were soundtracks to his movies you know but um they were my first very first exposure in you know, internet so. however on the 30th of december 1996 beneath the murky soulful eyes of a setting sun adeyemi josiah akao afolanyo left this world to the bereavement of family friends colleagues and a sea of his most beloved fans. Ade emi akun wa ro. O ma ja se bi oloko. Orun re re o ibi te ba wa ile ayo. A o pa ile se Jesus. Come to grow to know that we were so fortunate and blessed to had a father like you were. Baba o you the home be kunle for lion and um, you know I thank God but Thank you for for being a father and for having me. Kire bo se ma nkun re ani mi o ma ru mu. Ha o ma ru mu fe jeun. O ma ru mu fe didi. Ogbo o ma ru mu o wole to bi ni si adeye mi orun ri. Ah. Orun orun so julo. O se ni ti o ni ku. O se ni ti o ni ronun. Ko se yan to ko baba re mi digbo. Eniku <laughs> kato foju keye ti jagbe awesa wesa kato foju kan pupa di aluko kato re yan ti o se bi ade ade yemi o dorun orun koko he ri gioma je agbadu bi togo ade yemi o afolaya he ri gioma ja Badu wo bi to gbo iku o mama ti a badu le awa afolayan lo ade yan lo 